Hi, my name is uh, Ben Henneberg. Today I would like to tell you about the new functionality we have for our Valtro Guide system, our Smart Turn. Smart Turn is an automatic turning feature we have in the Valtro Guide system that will make your tractor turn perfectly every time on the headline. Smart Turn in combination with our Auto U Pilot is a really strong tool. For example, we are running in the field with our cultivator. We are getting closer to the headland. Our Auto U Pilot will slow the speed down on the tractor. When we hit the headland, the Auto U Pilot will lift the implement up. And after that, the Smart Turn will take over and make the perfect turn with the tractor. This is a strong tool that will make you more efficient in the field with your tractor and with your implement. And now I think we should go over to the tractor to see how we set up the system and how we use it in the field. So now we are in the tractor and I want to show you how we set up in the smart turn. To begin with, we go into our auto steering menu and we press here so we get all our settings. The first thing we do is press on our setting and here we shall enter our width of the implement and we do that by pressing here. The first menu we have is the width of the implement and in this case it's a 4 meter cultivator so I have set it at 4 meter. In the next menu we set up how far behind the implement is behind the tractor. In this case it's also 4 meter behind the tractor so I have entered that into this menu. In this last menu we can enter the physical length and the physical width of the implement. This is important for the smart turn system to know for example, if we have an implement with some marking lights on the side of the implement, we need to take these into account when we measure the full length of, or the full width of the implement. That way we can ensure that the tractor will not hit anything when it turns in the headland. Down below we can do a calibration so we can find the steering angle the system will allow the tractor to turn at the headland. The way we do this is by Turning on the tractor, drive slowly forward. You can do this at the field yard or you can do it out in the field, doesn't matter. I will now turn the tractor fully right and I will press record. And then I will turn fully left again and press record. Now the system knows how much it is allowed to turn at the headland without hitting the implement. So now we have set up these uh, settings and I will go to the main menu and then we will go into our auto steering menu. We press on our auto steering menu and now we can see the field boundary. You need to have a field boundary before you're able to use the smart turn. In this case I have al already made the field boundary and you can see when I zoom out that this is the field boundary for this field. Now we go into our field mode. In here we can do some settings for the smart turn and we do this by pressing on the Auto U Pilot. And in here we have five different settings we need to do. The first one is our headland segment. We have a new feature here in our Valtro Guide system that allow, allow us to do uh, different headland segments. And the way we do this is that we press on this small plus down at the bottom of the screen. Then we set up the number of segments we want on our field. In this case, I want four. And then it asks for the headland width. In this case, I want to run with 25 meter. So I enter that. Now it shows me the outer boundary and the inner boundary. And as you can see, the inner boundary, boundary is divided into four different segments. I press OK on this one. The great thing about this is that I can now choose to erase headland 3 and headland 1 if I don't want to use these. I go into the headland segment number 1 and set this up to zero. And I go into number three 
and set this up to zero also. Now you can see that I only have two headlamps left, number two and number four. Then I go into the next menu. In this next menu, we can set up our boundary extension. A boundary extension is a way where we allow the implement to exceed its outer boundary. In this case, I want to allow the implement to exceed boundary number two and number four. So I put in an extension on two meter, in this case, on both boundaries. This will now allow the implement to go above my outer boundary. Then I go into my turn settings. In the turn settings menu, we have a lot of different settings we can do. The first one is where we can set our smart turn to auto turn, we can do it to manually turn, or we can turn the system off. Here in this menu, we can choose which kind of turning pattern we want to use. As you see here, we have four different turning patterns. We have the U-turn, we have the part field mode, we have the K-turn, and we have the Y-turn. For now, only the U-turn and the part field mode is available. K-turn and Y-turn will be in a later software upgrade. A U-turn is where the tractor will turn and continue down next to the last pass, or it will skip a pass. The part field mode is where we want to finish off the first part of the field, and then after we want to finish the rest of the field. This could be used in a seeding application where the weather is not too stable. So we go out to the field and we finish off the first part of the field, and then we look on the weather, and if it's still is great weather, then we can do the rest of the field. In this case, I want to use the U-turn. Now we are in the U-turn menu. The next thing we can set up is which way we want the tractor to turn. I choose to turn right with this one. In this menu, I can set up the pattern width of the tractor. If I set it to one, the tractor will turn and continue down next to the last pass. If I set it to two, then it will skip a pass. Down here, we have our safety zone. A safety zone is from the inner boundary and when we want the tractor to start turning. I have set the safety zone at two meters. This will allow the tractor to turn around and lower the implement before it reaches the inner boundary. Down here, we have some other menus. Here you can see that on this field, with this size and with this type of implement, we have 20 turns. Over here we can see that the smart turn is not able to do any of the turn. It's set to zero. And here it's set to 20, well, which shows us that it's not able to do this. We can press on this field view, and here we can see that the tractor will exceed the outer boundary when it turns, and therefore it will not allow the turn. A way we can change this is by lowering our turning radius. For now it's set on 10 meters, and that will give me a high speed for turning at the headland. I don't want to turn with 10 kilometers an hour, so I press on this one, and I set my turning radius at 5. Now you can see that my turning speed is 7.5 kilometers an hour. Now we can see out of the 20 turns I have on the field, the tractor is able to do 18 of these by itself, and two of them I must do. We can press the field view again, and then we can see that the turn at the corner of the field, the tractor is not able to do, so I will have to do this manually. The next menu we have is our Auto U Pilot menu. As I mentioned in the beginning, the Auto U Pilot and the Smart Turn are some great features when they work together. In here, I have set up my Auto U Pilot 
when I'm coming from the field and out to the boundary in M1. So when I cross the inner boundary, it will raise the implement and lower the speed of the tractor. When the tractor turns around, then M2 will be active and it will lower the implement and raise the speed of the tractor. The last menu we have is where I set up the overlap of the implement. If I set it to zero, then the Auto U pilot will raise the implement as soon as it hits the headland. If I set it at 50%, half of the machine must be into the headland before the Auto U pilot will start and raise them the implement. If I set it at 100%, then I need the full length of the implement to be in the headland before the Auto U pilot will start to activate. In this case, where I'm out in the field with a 4 meter cultivator, I want to do it with 50% overlap. I press OK to this, and now you can see on the run screen here that our headland is set up and I have my way, way lines ready. So now it's just to go out into the field and let the smart turn do its work. Now we're in the field, out using our smart turn feature. As you can see here on the run screen, we have the opportunity to turn on and off the smart turn. We just do that by pressing up here. Now the smart turn is turned off. I can do the same with the Auto U pilot. Just press down here and then the Auto U pilot will be turned off. Now you can see it's counting down the meters to the headland. And at the moment up here, the tractor is red. That indicates that I'm going too fast to turn at the headland, but I have set up my Auto U pilot to go down to a lower speed when I hit the headland, and then the tractor will turn green and allow me to turn around. We can now see we have about 20 meters before the Auto U pilot will engage. Here we have our headland line, and now the Auto U pilot will start the tractor will lower the speed and up here we can see the tractor is now green this indicates that it's allowed to to turn the tractor it will turn the tractor around and now we can see that the auto u pilot is counting the meter before it should lower the implement again now it will lower the implement the auto u pilot will then increase the speed to 10 kilometers an hour and then we're off again. So now I want to show you how the part field mode works. I go into my smart turn settings and in here I go to the turn button and I press on this one and then I select the part field mode. I press OK to this. Here it says that I should start in path 11. I can press on this one and then it tells me, no, you're not in path 11, you are in path 14. I accept that. Here it shows that I will turn right when I come to the end of the field. In this field, I want to turn to the left. I have set up the system to skip two passes when I come to the end of the field. So uh, let's see how that works. Again, it's counting down the meters to the headland, so this will soon engage the Auto U pilot. We go down to six kilometers an hour, and as you can see, I have chosen to skip two paths, and the tractor will turn smoothly around. When I use this part field mode, I don't need a biggest headland as if I was turning pass by pass. Now it activates again and starts to drive down the field. Really easy and really simple to use. Now you have seen how our new smart turn functionality works. If this could be something for you, then contact your local Valtra dealer and get more information.